uh, all kids receive a great sheet of paper, quite large, where they would put the, 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 the first name, the first name, yes, on the sheet of paper, right in the middle, and then identify all the languages that they use. We say they use because it's not the languages they talk. Uh, if you do uh, judo, you don't talk um, Japanese, but you use Japanese because uh, you use a couple of words, it's good enough, actually. So once they have done that, then they're gonna start identifying those languages mean what? Like in blue, it will be uh, the people they talk to in those languages. In red, no, that was red. In green, it's gonna be the places. In blue, it's gonna be what it relates to, the first thing that comes that come to their mind, etc., etc. So we, we scroll down and we go deeper and deeper in those understanding. And then with the passport of languages, we try to identify the links, which is quite interesting because um, most of the time, they don't use one language when they speak. They would mix, mix a bit of Bulgarian, a bit of a bit of, of Turkish and French when they talk with their family, um, and that's important because it identifies the ties and the links between the languages. It means, actually, in order for them to express themselves properly, they use already several languages. So why are we doing the passports of languages? Because we believe that kids, that everyone actually, uh, you use and you speak more languages than you think you do. You probably speak languages with your family, which is not the same as the one you speak in the classroom, which is French. You probably speak languages, other languages with your friends. It's not the same as what you do here. You probably speak languages, you know, when you go back home in your country, in your other country, which is probably not exactly the same language as you speak here. Perhaps when you go buy something at the grocery, you speak another language. And in fact, what you do is you speak many different languages or you hear many different languages throughout the day. Okay? And you don't, you, you know that, but you have, never, you have never taken note of it. You have never written that somewhere. What you're going to do here, we're going to write it down because we believe, as teachers, teachers say, professor, we believe that. Um, it's very important for your brain. Your brain does not operate the same by the fact that you speak many languages. Someone who speaks French all day long, c'est quelqu'un qui parle français tout le temps, d'accord? Il pense seulement français. He only thinks in French. There's only language, one language in his mind. And perhaps when he opens the TV, he hears another language. But that's all. You, on the other hand, we believe that actually you use many more languages. So in your brain, not the same happens. There are more connections. Okay, so what, this is why we think it's important for you to identify those languages and also for you to use those other languages in the classroom. The language passport is about uh, allowing children, pupils in the classroom to um, actually identify all the languages they use daily not just French in the classroom, but they use languages in their family. They use other languages perhaps when they go back in their home country or what is the home country of their parents. They use perhaps other languages with friends. And in fact, if you look at it, they're using just more, more languages than you think they do. You think that if you ask them how many languages they use, they're going to say one or two or three. But in reality, sometimes it's eight, nine, sometimes ten languages that they use, which is actually a richness compared to just using one language, French, in the classroom. Ici, uh, en mots, j'écris, uh, est-ce qu'on parle souvent, parfois uh, En vert, j'écris avec qui je parle. À la, en rouge, j'écris où que je parle. En orange, j'écris de quoi on parle. Et en, en brun, j'écris que je réfléchis en en quelle langue, que je dis en secret, que je dis des secrets en quelle langue, que je calcule en quelle langue, que je me fâche en quelle langue, que je rêve en quelle langue. Et, et ici, en rose, on a un relié parce que parfois, moi je parle français et turc, je mélange. So with this language passport, you start to get um, an idea of the complexity and the multiplicity of um, the children's language world. So this is a pupil who speaks um, French in school. Um, so he says he speaks it everywhere, but he also speaks um, Turkish and Bulgarian um, at home. So these are two very strong languages for him. Um, you also see um, some other interesting um, introductions with things like Polish and um, 
Russian, um, where he's clearly learnt from friends and from other people. Maybe he only speaks a few words. Um, he does Japanese. Uh, he does Japanese. He uses Japanese when he's um, doing karate. So again, he might not be able to say anything, but he understands a few words. And um, the the children in the school here learn Dutch, and so he's he's got Dutch as one of his languages. But you can see he associates it with his teacher. But he's also been using it when he's been on a um, on a on a on a trip on a on some kind of water boat. And also interestingly, his aunt, um, he hears German when his aunt who lives in Germany comes to stay with his grandparents. So if you just look at this, even though um, there are probably three dominant strong languages, he's understood and, and documented a whole variety of other very small competencies that he has, but are nonetheless an important and relevant part of his life. Why it's important for me to use uh, languages of the children in the classroom is that it's, it really opens up to much more interactions, first of all, uh, much more expression from the kids. It calls to their emotional being, which is what they hear at home, is sometimes very often another language than what they use at school. And therefore, in terms of cognitive connections, it's bigger, it's wider than if you just tell them, speak French. Because if you just tell them, speak French, for them, they use it here, perhaps they use it a little bit outside, but at home that's not what they're using. So actually there is a, a, a lack of connection, just like whiteboard, French for them, and you're trying to plug things on the whiteboard. But if they use their own languages, the, the board is not white, there's things written in it already. And they can make the connections, and in terms of learning, it, it makes a difference, in fact. <laughs>